Welcome back to Aether Eternius, Dark Side of the Foundry. Last time we left off, the group had finally made to the main disturbance that uh, Leonard had basically pointed them, in, pointed them into that, where he believes the wild magic disturbance is coming from. After a little bit of shenanigans, two people falling in a hole, they finally decided to crawl into the crevice and head downwards into what seemed to be a quiet, desolate, dark, and very cold ruin. The group continued through at a nice kind of stealthy pace, keeping quiet, keeping uh, kind of on the on the lowdown, but eventually discovered that they weren't alone. They found evidence of what appeared to be black acre, frozen black acre, poison and corrosion along many places before the druid kind of pieced everything together and figured out that, that those are the, these are the signs of a black dragon. The group, for the most part, avoided it um, up until the northernmost hallways where they started to actually encounter the beast. Only one member really saw it before they began to explore around the castle a little bit more. Eventually, Tiberius found some odd-looking garments, which wound up activating one of the constructs nearby, which saw him as a thief. They took care of the, they took care of the construct rather easily before... Uh, Rose was shown the trinkets and kind of had a bit of a memory flash, realizing that this was the castle of his previous masters. However, it seems that it was, well, something really bad happened here. He doesn't know what, though. All before they, all before, after all this happened, they kind of conjugated into the dining room and a little bit of talking later they got spotted by the very thing that they were trying to avoid. And that is where we pick up this session. The Black Dragon is staring all of you down. Nai, Belua, Rose, and Various. It is very much aware of your presence. I would like you all to roll initiative. Make sure you click your tokens. Huh? And there's music. Uh, Rose, what is your dex? Uh, Dex is a plus zero. Okay, so I need you to re-roll your initiative, and it's going to re-roll its, because you got the same initiative, but this will determine who goes first. Oop. And it's going ahead of you. So I'm going to add that. 24 to yours. Uh, Nai and I both put up a selector icon for picture like that. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? What were you saying? Nai and I were both geniuses and forgot to select our icons when we rolled. Oh, oops. Uh, let me add them. Nai, add turn. You got a 11, 17. Okay, cool. Tips, you got oh wow, a 21. That's gonna help. 21. We're at the top of the turn order. Tips, you've heard some rumbling up north from another room. What do you do? Uh, he's gonna pad his way forward because he doesn't think anything bad happened. Anything that he thinks he's really collapsed. Unless there's a roar. If there's a roar, then it's different. No, there was no roar. Just sounds of what seemed to be something moving. Uh, let's see, I need the ruler. Should be that. I got. You gonna see if uh, anyone got crushed? Can he actually see anything from that corner? Uh, do you peek around the corner? Yes then yes, you can actually see its uh, neck and head coming down from the top of the ceiling and it's literally looking 
You don't see Belua, but you see Nai, Rose, and Various basically being stared at by this thing. It's a big. Oh, oh good. Death has found us. Do you do anything further, or is that your turn? Uh, let's see here. I need to touch them. That one, that's not gonna happen. Um, yeah, you know what? He's just going to remain there and see what happens because he doesn't want to step in, you know, chomp range. Okay. Maybe it's friendly. Okay. This creature kind of begins to open its mouth. You notice that the flesh tendrils that are holding its jaw together are rotten and kind of stringy. But you can kind of see the black miasma turning red as it seems to be inhaling. And I need you all, and I need a nine, Rose, Various, and Belua to make me a wisdom save. As it kind of breathes, kind of just exhales this red and black miasma all over you. Mm. Give me one second. For you, you don't need to make one. It's just the ones that are oh, okay. in range. You, you, you said everyone. Sorry. Let's bring out my notes. Should I get the DC right? Okay. Oh god, Rose, she just barely made it. <laughs> One second. <laughs> okay. Take your time. Sorry, um... You're fine. Also, I need to double check, does- is Pride ring- Pride's ring equipped? Like, do you have it on? The yeah, because he had it on. So before. roll your wisdom save at advantage. Okay, um, sorry, I was checking Eidolon's, because if it was a fear effect, I was- No. This is a completely new effect, specific to this campaign. Well, Bella would didn't Roll it pass. again. Oh, that's Bella you was. Ooh. Yeah, that's Bella you was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, I'm so sorry, buddy. Is it affected by emotion, by the way? That is the big question. That, that's what I was looking for. Is yeah. I was looking for... Um, no, this is way worse, Tips. <laughs> Because if he's not affected by emotions, emotional uh, changes, then he should be immune. Okay, it says this gives the Eidolon advantage on rules against fear and charm effects. Okay. And any effects that can be shrugged off by self-harming actions will also be ended. Okay, so yeah, uh, Belly was immune to this, so don't worry about him. Yay! Barry still needs to make his uh, save, but you have to do. But you get to do it at advantage, and I'll explain Sorry why. Sorry that that took so long. I was it's okay. Just... <laughs> God damn it! Uh, so various. You kind of see Rose and Nai in front of you. Kind of, they kind of cover their faces, but the miasma kind of just drips past them, and it it starts to kind of drift around you as well. But you kind of accidentally inhale a little bit of it and you start feeling as if your body has become a bit more sluggish. There was for a moment that you could have swore you heard Pride's voice telling you to not listen to it, but you now have one stack of the depressed affliction. Oh, depressed. yay! The depression status ailment is unique to Aether Eternius. Uh, this, if, this, is, this affection, this uh, ailment halves your movement speed causing all attack saves and skill checks to be rolled at disadvantage. You can roll a wisdom save at the start of your next turn to fight off the effects to overcome your depression. This effect does stack. This Yay. will last until you either expire or are able to dispel it. So, I'm gonna add a little icon to you. You have one stack of depression. And that's its action. That's that's what it did to you guys. Bruce.
All right, well, so, so much for being cordial here. Let's say I like swallowing this, and uh, Rose is going to attempt to cast blindness on the dragon. You can try. So, Rose, it's not going to make the constitution saving throw because as you begin to cast the spell, you realize in the moment it has no eyes. It's immune. Oh, that's, that's chipper. Um, uh, do I, does that still count as using a spell, though? I'd say no, because I would say that you stopped the moment you noticed that in no eyes. Alright, um, do I still have an action? Yes. Alright, uh, in that case, seeing as Nye is right next to me, um, I would like to, I don't know what Nye has planned, but... If her intention is to get away from a dragon, I would like to try to hold in a way so I can... Uh, I... Hmm. I was going to say, because I don't know if she's going to try to disengage or what there. Otherwise, I was going to try to do, like, a help action with her. Um, hmm. I'm playing stealth. I'm sorry, you weren't coming through there. Oh, here, I'm planning to try stealth. Okay, okay. So you're going to do that thing. Cool. Uh, uh, in that case, I am going to try. I'm going to make a grab for various and try to get us pull, pull, pulled as far away from danger as we can. Okay. That's up to if various is willing. Yep. Because you kind of a little them. bit. Oh, Actually, I want to describe this. You kind of look back at them, and you see that a lot of their color is kind of almost dulled, and they kind of look like something is weighing on their shoulders. But the ring around their finger, you notice, has a slightly green glow to it right now. Oh, this is not the time to be in cold paws here, Various. Uh, how far can I bring Various with me? Um, if he's not going to fight you, I'd say you'd be able to take your full movement to be able to drag him along. All right. Uh, I'm going to... But remember, his hat movement is halved. Right. Um, so I'm going to go as far as I can with uh, various movement in mind, uh, back down towards the uh, this hallway here. Okay. Nah, it's your turn. You're basically right in front of its mouth. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try stealth. Uh, okay, well that's gonna be versus its perception. Okay. You might want to use your lucky ability. Won't need to. I think I win. I was gonna say you also have plus ten because you're still technically in. You are. So yeah, it. You kind of start to slink into the shadows after kind of using the miasma it exhaled out to kind of cover your tracks. And it loses you. Freus, you kind of hear people moving in the hallway. You kind of see Tibbs on the other side. And he's, he was looking at something and then seems to be now pressed against the wall like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> but you definitely can see people running from where you're at. What do you do? As uh, I was sorry, I was thinking okay. she'll take just one step out and counts and only notices one person is missing, so she's going to. Oh no, I don't know what my spell. Sorry, I forgot. Uh... <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to stay there and... Yeah, just stay there and hold an attack action if it does try to run down this little alley we're in, or the doorway. Okay. Various, you feel as if 
the weight of this place is coming down on your shoulders, you have a chance to roll another wisdom save at advantage to try to shake it off. This will take uh, a bonus action to do. You can go ahead and try again. Mm -hmm. And you're able to, you kind of hear a voice in the back of your head that's now even louder this time. It says, Various, get a hold of yourself. It can't control you, it won't control you. And you just kind of snap back and your color starts to begin to return as you kind of feel this heaviness finally peel away from you and you're kind of sitting there like, what the hell was that? You were no longer depressed. Yay, I wish I, I wish it was that easy. I wish it was that easy too. It is in this though. But you can kind of see Rose is now dragging you along and Nye is also running. He, he takes them a moment to, to blink a few times before starting to run with them and looks towards the kitchen and is going to try and head in there. Okay. Now for your information, for the player's information, the Pride's Ring now has a passive effect that you have discovered. You now have in, you have advantage on any saving rolls against any negative abilities, as long as you are wearing the ring. So, there you go. And Bellowa, because Bellowa is Bellowa, is mm -hmm. going to try and distract it. Okay. With what is it a do? good old swipe. That does not hit. In fact, as Belua kind of starts to rake his claws against this creature's scales and flesh, his claws almost sink in as the flesh tries to actually heal around the claws, but he has half a mind to pull his claws away before it heals up completely, almost getting him stuck in it. Now, is this something that magic weapon like magic weapons could get around potentially but its ac is also higher than 17 okay Alrighty, that will be my turn tibs you're up again oh good they, they're almost safe that's good that's good <laughs> Got two first spots left. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's see if this thing can think. Oh. Mind thrust. Okay, let's see. Let me double check its intelligence score real quick. Let's see. It's a new guns modifier. And, uh,. Now, what is it against? What is uh, your DC? It, it, uh, it takes in, oh yeah, sorry. My DC is, is like, uh, 15. It fails. Woo! It is not very smart at all. Almost as if it's brain dead. But uh, you're able to easily inflict some sort of uh, psychic damage into it and you can kind of see it kind of you see its head tilt to the side for a few seconds before it seems to re uh readjust itself so go ahead and roll damage oh, oh god okay. that's terrible uh -huh. and you can kind of see a little bit of whatever weird gray matter leak from the side of its head where there is a, a very much an opening one thing is next turn it can only do one action Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all it needs. <laughs> Almost immediately after you see this happen, you can kind of see it realign its head, and you can kind of see whatever leaked out of its head kind of go back in. Okay. It just healed that damage. And it does seem to turn its head toward Bellula for a few seconds, and... Okay. It almost seems to ignore it as it begins to pull its neck and its head back up to the ceiling. Bellula can take an attack of opportunity, though. It's leaving. Yay! Let's 
Dang. That does not hit. <laughs> so it retracts its head back into the ceiling, and you can all hear just choo, 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 as it starts to clamber around, and it is gone. So let me turn the music back. And then, uh... Come on, let me do this on the goddamn. It's gone. Initiative is now over, so let me remove the turns. All right, just off the giant thing. So what do you do now? The dragon seems to have gone. You can kind of feel rumbling above your heads as it moves around somewhere. Right, what was that? That right there was the proverbial shit hitting a fan. Various rubs his face, eyes shutting for a moment as he sort of gets his senses. Mm -hmm. uh, Various, you do notice that the ring around your finger was glowing green, but it's starting to kind of abate now. And you do feel a sense of protection coming from it, almost. He quickly shoves one of his paws in his pocket. <laughs> Do I see various put the paw in the pocket? Uh, perception versus sleight of hand. Oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure I'm on normal. Yep. Oh, God. Yeah, you see it. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely see it. Huh, never really figured you as one for jewelry. Various's ears pull back. <laughs> but then again, that's then again that's not the thing that's trying to eat us, so I'm not one to judge. It's not important. Just a, a little cantrip. Well, hopefully it's a hell of a lot reliable than the rest of our magic's been going. Surprisingly, I have noticed that I'm not having any issues with Bellua. Thank the moons. Yes, that's lovely. Uh, Rose will then look back down towards uh, Freya still in that uh, adjacent room. Still over there, Frius? Yeah, it's still... Um, so I'm <laughs> guessing the dragon said hi. Yeah, it... It made a very nice house call. It did something. My head still feels muddled. What do you... What do you mean, something? She's going to actually physically walk over and, like, she places her hands on Varys' head and kind of, like, examining, like, thinking it's physical. Check. Roll me a medicine check, actually. Varys does feel a little cold. Than norm colder than normal. It wasn't a very high DC. <laughs> He looks a little annoyed at having his head sort of turned and, and messed with, but it holds still. And it's not like an ice chill, it's almost like a a grave type chill. Maybe it's lupus. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. 
Fris will just let go and be, well, it's nothing physical. C can you explain what happened? It breathe. I know that sounds hilariously simple, but there was something that it breathed out, and when it hit me, it felt like everything went a bit grayer and a bit heavier. Like something had been sapped away. Hmm. It's not normally what Black Dragon would have. She actually pulls one of her books out, starts flipping through, and she just keeps flipping back and forth between pages, and it's like, that... that doesn't seem right. Mm -hmm. And you it's... indeed find nothing about this. You would find poison breath and corrosion, but nothing and... like this. She pulls out another piece of paper and just scribbles and then puts both the book and the paper in her backpack. We we definitely need to either get what we need and get out or just leave now. Uh, on that note, Rose is going to squeeze through this uh, gridlock here and is going <laughs> to head for the, uh, the chest that was down here. Okay. And I do recall that there were some items in there before. Yes, I believe Tiberius put them back. Oh. Yes, he did. Hello? Yes, he did. Okay, so it should be the crown, uh, have you the outfit, and what was the other item? I think it was a few coins. Yes. So some old strange coins, the crown missing a few jewels, and some tattered royal clothing. Uh, Rose will actually go pick those up there um, and is going to look over in particular the crown and the clothing. Okay. Does, does Rose get any sort of buys, for lack of a better term, off of them? What exactly are you looking for? Is do, specific? do they still... Do they look like... With what Rose might know that did they have magical properties and does it look like those would still be active at all? Yes, actually. You knew you know at least that the ropes would have had at least a bonus to one's charisma allowed them to be more presentable and regal looking and you could definitely still feel the magic on them. It's there, but it definitely seems to have aged. And uh, the crown? And then the crown... You kind of vaguely remember that it had some sort of ability to attract people and make them more persuasive, but it seems to be missing a couple of the gemstones that really powered it, so it might be weakened. Mm hmm All right. Uh, yeah. So I... yes, to clarify, these are magic items. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> uh, Rose is going to put them in their arms and, uh, Bring him back toward, um, head back towards the, the group here. Then, okay. Do you think we can get out? Do you think we have enough for Leonard? Well. Leonard want to know what was causing this, and yeah, there's been there's some hella messed up things down he here, but we haven't really definitively found out yet if any of this is really the cause of what's going on. Were there any other so? Mm. We need to get around and see if there are any other places that we might have the answers. Have you seen any that were... Uh, so far, well, there's 
There's a there's one of those wolf carcasses over that way, points further down the hall to the north. But so, and then there's I do recall that there was uh, an area on the other side of that uh, that icker. I haven't really checked that out just yet. Hmm. Can we hear the dragon anywhere? Nowhere close by. Can we tell direction? Give me perception for that one. You hear nothing. You just hear the eerie silence. Can I take a listen as well? Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's fine. It's probably long gone now. You're fine. <laughs> We need to... I'm guessing that a Varger carcass is not the cause of this, so... We have to figure out a safe way to explore the rest of the area. I could send Bellua, or one of us with a bit more... <sighs> I have one spell that can make one of us a little sneakier, but... But honestly, spells are a bit a, a rusty. Group... Yeah. We're currently right now pretty useful, but gross. I will tell you again, Tiberius was spotted and tracked because of the items you are holding. We may want to come back for that later. We know it's in a relatively safe room. Hmm. Oh boy. Uh, I got to, I got to make a roll here. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> Rose looks reluctantly over to Rias and gives a uh, a simple nod over to her. <sighs> All right, the uh, dysfunctional family reunion can wait, I guess, and is going to. Go hastily shove the the items kind of grumbling to themselves into the there and just kind of slam down with their foot to close it and then hop back <laughs> over. Okay. She's just going to give him a pat on the shoulder. It's like, we need to worry about one thing. We don't need someone being left behind. We made a good decision. <laughs> But at least you know that the items are in this chest. So, and from the looks of it, it hasn't been touched in a very, very long time. So, mm -hmm. where do you want to go now? You know for a fact that this room is not safe, but it's not there right now. The things don't seem to want to kill us unless we take something. Those Not are worried the robots about those. so far. Now, if you remember correctly, you actually took one down rather easily. Yeah, but we don't need to. You don't need to, exactly. He's going to send Bellua out. Okay. And again, the constructs don't seem to care. That's Main... not the reason that... <laughs> I know, but you can definitely see that their searchlights kind of focus on him for a few seconds before going away. Like, almost like they were scanning him. Okay, Bellow's gonna look around this corner. Okay, and you can kind of see the entrance of a room in there. It's all very eerily quiet. And just feel free to tell me to stop. Okay. Uh, as Bellio as you as Bellio rounds that corner, he actually sees a rather small room with what looks to be a grid-like pattern on the floor, with a statue on another end, kind of presiding over this grid-like pattern right here. It looks to be a. Uh, how do I explain this? It looks almost like a tall, regal-looking figure with a rapier in hand, standing there with the rapier pointed downwards, with both hands on the hilt, and the. Slabs don't seem to have anything on them. Okay. Bella's gonna 
go up. Okay. And gonna poke a poke a slab. Nothing happens. Okay. Um. Have you tried carving an X or an O into it? <laughs> I mean, you never know. Uh, what is everyone else doing? Uh, Rose is, I guess, at this point seeing Belua come back and I'm gonna head over and since I came back alive, it's gonna go ahead and also take a peek in the room. Okay. And you see the exact same thing. You see a relatively empty room, but you recognize that statue. I mean, part of its face is missing. It looks a little bit on the decrepit side, like it was almost tried, someone tried to destroy it. Uh, but it is one of your masters, and someone definitely tried to deface the statue. It, it's seen better days. It's fine. Mm. Okay, Belua, as you reach that point... Phil, let me move this thing. Okay. And let me reveal that for you. You see what looks to be a gap. And the other side definitely seems to be the continuation of that hallway. Alrighty. Okay. Belly was gonna spread those wings. Okay, that's right. He can fly now. And flappity. Nice. Okay, and you can definitely see there's a much larger room ahead. I'm just gonna make sure I reveal this. Hold on. As a note, right now Various is... is seeing your size? Yes, so he okay. has no senses where you guys are. Cool. Okay. So, Bayua, you actually begin to see a rather large room ahead of you. Uh, this room in particular looks to be an armory. There are several mannequins that are standing with very decrepit looking armor on. Some have weapons like pikes, swords, shields. Uh, roll me a perception for Belua. Okay, that is actually just enough because he kind of does take a look up because he is flying. He does see there is a big gaping hole in the ceiling here. Yay! <laughs> oh, good! Gonna peek around this corner. And you see what looks to be the rest of the hall. And you see one of the constructs there. What's up? So yeah, wait. Anything that looks like it. Looking for something specific? Hey. Anything that looks like it would be similar to the to the thing the grid? Uh, nothing here. No. Uh, give me a perception one more time for him, though. Oh, great! Hey! Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you actually see what looks to be a switch uh, located right here. It looks, it's kind of next to some of the statues. It's kind of uh, been uh, covered a little bit by some stuff falling, but you do see what looks to be a large lever. Do, 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 do. Gonna... Nope. <laughs> it doesn't seem to care. No, it's not worrying about that. Oh. It's not over there. Uh, you actually can't hear anything over there. It's very, very quiet. Okay, so... Gonna... Pull the switch. It's very easy to pull. You kind of hear a... Kunk! As it kind of just... It, there's a little bit of a resistance because it's about dust and stuff like that. But you just hear this grinding noise behind you. And you see what looks to be a pathway open up. To the north. Uh, and then I have uh, something to once uh, Belio is done. All right. Uh, have a we can swap over to you. Okay. Since I've been. Right. Uh, okay. so for the 
for the these like grid tiles, is there anything distinct about them? No, they can seem completely blank. Rose looks up to the uh, the statue there, and you know sees that it's already kind of decayed a bit there. Since over. you're looking up, give me perception roll, please. Oh. Mm-hmm. There's a reason Tibbs is keeping Freyus in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> now the group in the hall, they don't hear anything right now. Yeah, I rolled a five. Uh, that's actually enough because it's very, very plain. You actually see there's a pattern on the ceiling that corresponds to the squares on the ground. It seems that this square, this square, this square, and this square seem to be highlighted on the ceiling. The, uh, the directional points. Alright. And which, which tile did Valua interact with? Was it this one? This yeah. One. Oh, that, that one oh, there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rose will go ahead and, uh, I guess put their weight on that one's tile. Uh, nothing happens. Rose just looks over the statue. It's like, really? You're going to. All right, whatever. I think I see where this is going. Uh, Rose then heads back towards the hall down here. It's like, uh, yo. Uh, since you're. Are you. How loud are you going to be? <laughs> um. I guess enough to where their voice is going to carry over here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Continue on. Yeah, need a uh, need a couple warm bodies over here. We're not going to fry us as we walk by. Not that uh, warm. Um, everyone in the main lobby room, can you please roll me a quick perception? Ali's right. I'm gonna be right back. She went upstairs quickly. Okay. All right. I can't. No, because so. uh, yeah, you're focused on Belua. Okay. Nine. I have a negative one. <laughs> I think you may have to roll for nine. Is she not here? Right, she's yeah, upstairs yeah. for him. I'll go click on her. Okay. Uh, let me roll for her. Uh, perception. Okay. So you all kind of see this. I mean, as you, you kind of hear Rose and kind of wince a little bit and it's like, oh, geez, you should be quiet. However, some of you kind of have your eyes traced to the doorway that you came in and you realize that there seems to be a rather massive distortion in your way out. Everyone can see this. Oh, fuck me. Well, it, it, it's okay. Uh, Tiberius, could you help, help your friend out and maybe try to guide them towards the next room? I know they're a little busy, but we should not leave anyone behind. Uh, also for Bellua, as also for Bellua, you notice that these, this hallway, you cannot see very far in front of you. It's almost as if the darkness is getting thicker. Alrighty. It's also getting noticeably colder. Oh yay! Now I can see your hand moving this lump. Oh yes. Oops. They're sort of almost sleepwalking after you. <laughs> okay. Freya just eyes the constructs as she walks by and mentally goes later. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, you can. Rope or Snickers sway. I'd say at advantage since they're not aware. <laughs> 11 or 11. Uh, you can't really find it. You don't know exactly where they stashed it right now. And you're trying to move them as well as trying to keep up with the others. But you can't really uh, find anything right now. Yeah. In pockets. Mm-hmm. Uh, once everyone is over in the room, Rose points over to the ceiling and then is going to outline the uh, the four, like the tiles in these like four cardinal directions. All right, er everyone pick a spot. And then we'll see what sort of magic happens. Sorry, are you planning on doing some magic without knowing what it is? I mean, it couldn't be any worse than what's happened already. All right, very well. It's not going to summon a dragon, is it? Yuri puts various there. Okay, so as you all, f as you four stand on the directional points, nothing happens. Maybe it is tic-tac-toe. They don't sink or anything, but nothing happens. Uh, is it the opposite ones? Oh no, it's a pump it up board. Does it see anything magical about this um, nine square thing? Um, You kind of see what looks to be an energy flowing between the tiles, but it's very faint. But that's about it. It doesn't seem to hint at anything else. So whatever the magic is inside of him is still active, but it's obvious that this combination isn't working. All right, uh, let's try take two. Maybe Rose just looks her statue and just again, just like scours at it, and then <laughs> back over looks back as her and studies the uh, the layout on the ceiling. It's this. Uh, you definitely see that. The highlighted points coordinate with the directional points on the ground. That's all it shows. All right. Maybe, maybe we have to step on them in a certain order. Would anyone else like to try that or something different? It's up to you. Okay, Bell, you're gonna hold on. I need to reveal this. Uh, Belio, as you step into this room, you see a, another rather large gash in the floor, but there's something coming up from the middle of this gash from the water. It almost looks like a rock pillar, and the rock pillar comes to a very specific point, and it looks like two skeletal figures are impaled on it. And they've been there for a long time. The bones seem to be covered in the black frozen ichor that would be recognizable from the main room as well. Oof. And one of them is still kind of, go. and one of them is still grasping what looks to be a very ornate rapier. Rapier. Oh. Shoot. Okay. And Bellula, actually, it'd be technically various since you're looking through his eyes. Uh, roll me an intelligence check. Oh! That rapier is the exact same one as the statue that you saw. The exact same rapier. They, just... I don't think they've seen it yet. They're kind of dragged in the room. Well, no. they they did have Bellua go in there. They're looking oh, through okay. Bellua's eyes. I'm dumb. Continue. No! It was, that's part of why I was sort of stopping for a moment, like, oh, darn it, he doesn't know that they're trying to figure this out. No, they have no idea that they're in there, but uh, let's go back to the group in the room. Uh, what do you guys plan to do? Does the statue look like it's missing a crown? No, it's got the crown on, but it looks like part of its face has been broken off. Uh, several bits of it look worn down. Hmm. You know, I hate to say it, but perhaps Varys would be the best to look at this. Yeah, and I think Varius is uh, looking at other things right now. Oh, I know how to get him back. 
Oh no. Please, please don't. <laughs> no, it's it's quite simple really. <coughs> going to grab a whisker. Tiberius, pluck. as you stand on that square, it sinks a little bit. Oh, shite. You're... And then you start hearing a ticking sound. Oh! A ticking sound. Yes. Hooray, you found the bomb. What did you do? <laughs> The ticking sound seems to continue for about 10 seconds before it stops and the platform rises back up to its default position. I think I found oh, the trigger. It's a timed puzzle. It might just be all the ones outside of what you thought. Oh. Okay, in that case, uh, everyone assume a corner. Uh, do we have to? Tell you what, I'll go in the middle. Varys will go in the corner over here. Okay, and as you all kind of stand onto the uh, platforms, they all sink down, and the ticking does begin until the last person steps on it, and then you hear a loud click! And there's a loud rumble that kind of vibrates through the entire castle. In fact, that you can even feel it just goes like there's a little kind of an earthquake. And then it stops. Rose, why did we do this? Because this is some more fae bullshit, that's why. And probably and because it's guarding something important. Fae. You keep saying Fey as if we know what that means. Uh, Belua, over there, you suddenly see what looks to be, a, after the slight quake, you see a doorway open up. <laughs> so, In fact, if you look at the map, several doorways have opened up. Oh. They're going but, to... Uh, Tibbs, you can actually see the magic has now left the panels. It's gone dark. Oh. Well, you found us a uh, solution. Done it again, Tibbs. Yeah, that's how I work, obviously. So, um, I mean, honestly, what did that do? You're not sure. Is the front door open? Nope. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Uh, Rose is going to... Oh, yeah, wait, it's Xbox. Uh, Rose is going to wander over to the statue, just look up at it, it's like... Well, how about that? A low immortal, sir, you know, solved your little brain teaser. And then it's going to spin the statue's face and walk off. <laughs> you do, definitely do feel that it's, it's smug smile glaring in the back of your head. I take it you don't like these people. That is an understatement even coming from you. Are you guys just leaving various behind? <laughs> oh, no. Well, since no one's... <laughs> like home alone, they just get back to the fire palace and are like, wait a second, various! <laughs> I, I just want to point out, it's perfectly in character for Tiberius to leave him there right now. <laughs> Bellula, can you roll me a perception? Eh. Oh, you get distracted by something. You get to see you see the door open, and you kind of look behind you to see if other doors have opened up or anything. And then you start to hear, feel the ground rumble beneath you, as you just quickly turn around to see a head rising from the water. My god, the dragon knows instant transmission. And gonna retreat. You can. Okay, gonna retreat to back in here if I can. 
Mm -hmm. It seems to be looking around. It doesn't see you immediately, but it definitely kind of is poking its head out like a an animal kind of looking up from a hole, like a, a hiding spot. Okay. Uh, Rose is going to go ahead and drag Various back with, into the hallway. Yes! Avoiding responsibility once again. <laughs> oh my god. You guys can sort of see that Various' ears have pulled back. And, and are sort of pinned back. Uh, I see it, and as uh, Valua is kind of fleeing into the hall, it immediately it turns its head, and you just hear this... In fact, it kind of almost is like a crackling, gurgling sound, and you all hear it. It sounds further away, however, from where you guys are. Oh. I think Varius' little construct found it. And by it, I of course mean death incarnate. And it's going to start trying to climb its way out of the hole at uh, Belua. Run, Belua, run! <laughs> Maybe we should stay here and wait for a regroup. Can I just uh, make a, a run for it? Okay. And uh, Belua does kind of look back and it kind of stops at the hallway because it can't get into it because it's too big. And it definitely lets out this hissing roar as uh, Belua runs away from it before he, it kind of slinks back into the water with a, a big splash and vanishes. I don't know what happens if Belua dies while he's in his eyes, but it'd be interesting to watch. Tiberius is staring very intently at Varius. <laughs> Varius is peeking around the corner with all four eyes just narrowed. So now that they see this other door is open, and this room is not safe... They're gonna mm -hmm. They're scoot their room. way to this other door. Uh, can you feel as a belly wife? Can you feel the area around them? Um, it does say that all my senses are replaced. There's rumbling coming right above you, belly wife. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, chasing, it's chasing you. <laughs> bolting, bolting for this door. Okay. Uh. <laughs> and it's open. It is very much open. Yeah, I put my character there, but they'll show up underneath the thing and I'm not sure if I can grab them again. And the moment you uh, duck into that room, you immediately see this creature just come crashing down, just kind of falling almost to the ceiling and You guys can see various starting to hyperventilate a little bit. <laughs> and that seems to be it kind of moves around a little bit. It seems to be looking down this hall. Kind of moves over here, looks over the gap, and kind of comes over here. It seems to be ignoring the construct, but it's definitely looking around. So let me roll perception for it. Uh -oh. oh, God. Oh, no. And God. you can see it immediately turns and then see and kind of lowers its head down and looks at you right through the door and just charges right up to it and it's almost trying to stick its nose to the door ready to get at you. There's a trickle of liquid coming down Varys' pants at this point. <laughs> but basically no. think of it like a cat door but a dog's head's trying to get through it. So we're gonna do like a like cat would. <laughs> that will hit. That hits. And, uh, Belly right kinda, to the nose. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna kind of rake his claws right into this dragon's nose. And uh, since you can smell through Belly, it just smells like rotten flesh as he kind of drags it down and exposes this black, rotting ichor that it's, it's that is its blood. And it definitely lets out a shriek that you all can hear as it kind of recoils its head from the doorway. Rose looks over behind them at Varius and uh, 
you know, seeing their body language at this point. So I... at this point, Various's teeth are bared. <laughs> well, I'm just going to do that. Kick. He has that dream. I think someone's having a fun time up ahead. <laughs> Maybe we should all hide in this room. <laughs> and immediately, like. Mm. And uh, as the dragon kind of backs away, it looks back down at Belly One, just kind of bears the, this rotting row of teeth before it opens up these almost decrepit looking wings and takes back off into the ceiling. Oh, god damn it. Uh, the rest of you just wait here. I'm just gonna see what carnage awaits. Uh, Rose is going to sneak along the wall here and roll me stealth. Oh, all right. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Mm. You can kind of hear something clamoring through the ceiling above you, and it stops right above you. <laughs> There's no opening near you. The only opening you see is the one that's all the way back in the center of the room. But you can see a large gap in the... Um, or at least there would have been a gap in the hallway up ahead, but it looks like there was a bridge that had formed. Rose, upon hearing this, just presses against the wall and goes stark still. Okay. What is everyone else doing? I'm reading. (laughs) Tiberius is intently watching both Varius and Rose at this point. Going out there doesn't seem like a good plan because he's (laughs) bite-sized. We typically all are. He's extra bite-sized because he's him. <laughs> Do I see any uh, any activity toward and through this down this way? No, nothing. Whatever was scrambling above you has literally stopped right above you. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm going to try to do something, you know, maybe somewhat stupid. Okay. Uh, I am going to attempt to uh, thaumaturgy and try to create a sound coming from the other side of this chasm. So roll me wild magic first. Of course. <laughs> So Freyus is going to immediately okay, you're grab. Good. Okay, you're good. Freyus is going to grab Nye and Varius and pull them very far into the room. Okay. So where exactly are you making um, the sound come from? I'm going to poise it, um, like at the like kind of like the mouth of this hallway. Okay. Uh, you kind of. Now, what kind of sound do you want to make? Do you want to make a, a clash? Do you want to make voices or? What do you want to make? Um, okay, sure. Uh, I guess I'll do a little bit of a ventriloquism. Uh, there you go. And I'm just going to yeah, make a yell like from over there. Yo, where the hell are you all at here? And you begin to hear what seems to be more scratching and, cr- and clawing as it leaves whatever area is above you, and it leaves. All right. Uh, shoot. Because on the one hand, there are things crawling around. On the other hand, Belly was still nowhere to be seen. Um. Yeah, I'm. Oh boy. I'm just going to. I'm just gonna. Okay, Rose is just gonna wait there for the moment there, just to to listen for their to listen to the dragon's reaction then. Mm-hmm. And about, I'd say, a minute 
after you did that, you can hear what sounds to be you rumbling and uh, the splash of water coming from this area. Uh, which area? Over here. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you want to try to open the chest, Belua? Yes. Okay. Uh, Belua, you kind of reach in to try to open up this chest. It's not locked, but the moment you open it, it immediately slams shut as teeth try to bite into your hands. No! Belua, roll initiative. Gosh, darn it. I knew it. There had to be a f- mimic. They wouldn't put a mimic in the first dungeon. Oh. This is like Dark Souls all over again. Hey, one of the first chests I found in the game. I'm just gonna. Oh, God! I don't really have an icon for a mimic because I forgot to make one like a dumbass. So. Um, it's. I'm just gonna roll for its initiative and I'll remember it in here. Uh, just stick some googly eyes in the chest. It'll be fine. Pretty much. Uh. Actually, I know what I, I know what I can do. Uh, draw shape. Uh, let's make it. Uh, it's green. There we go. I'll just draw a little shape right there. There's your mimic. Uh, okay. So. Okay, but you all went first. So uh, what are you gonna do? It literally just chomped on your hands, or it tried to. Uh, Belly was gonna. Take off. Because <laughs> uh, they're not out to pick a fight. Okay. Uh, normally, Belly would, but currently it's not Belly uh, at the helm. And how far? And how high in, on the ground is he going to be? Um, he's he's on the ground. He's okay. Right. So it's going to take an opportunity attack against you. Okay. So let me get a minute. It's next to block. What is its attack? Uh, okay. So, let me just roll some damage. Does it that does hit? not hit. Okay, so it, as you're trying to take off and run away from it, it tries to go in for another chomp, but it doesn't pursue you. Man, this has been a, a interesting journey for, for the idol. <laughs> mm-hmm. How are you oh, guys doing? <laughs> God damn it. I'm putting these back on. Sorry about that. It stopped for some reason. Okay, so let me delete that. You are now out of initiative because you ran away from it. Yeah. But you know that chest is a mimic. Oh, so I also accidentally deleted the pathway over there. Whoops. I'll remake it. <clears throat> Alright, so what is everyone else doing? What are you guys doing? Uh, what, does Rose have Saya Belua yet? Uh, not yet, no. Okay. It's actually getting darker over here to where it's a little harder to see. Especially as you're going through here, so range of sight is a lot less over here compared to what it's like over here. Like, you can see further in this direction for some reason, but over here, not so much. All right, um, Rose, uh, since the dragon went elsewhere, Rose is going to uh, try to sneak through this doorway here. Okay. It's actually more of a bridge over what looks to be a gap. Mm -hmm. But this looks intentional, so. Almost like a very clean gap that had a bridge kind of come out from this side and extend to the other end. And it's very sturdy. You make it across, no problem. And you can actually now see Bellula. Oh. God, it's about time. Doing you know, Rose just kind of breathes a small sigh of relief, and then just is like both hands just like beckoning Balua over. It's like, come, come on, come on, let's get a move on here. It uh, lumbers over. All right, all right, let's get you, let's get you back to your creator here, and. It's going- it, it- it lays a, a paw on your shoulder and points back. Where's it pointing to? Back to the, the room. Okay. Uh, which room? Oh, back to this room in general. 
Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Doors. That, that's nice. Uh, what would be even nicer is if all of us were together so we can go through said doors. Sort. Alright, you, you saw a shiny thing, that's, that's a, that's a good, um, good creation. <laughs> good, good, good job there. Uh... <laughs> Ah, so you read them. Excellent. Good, good, good. Right, let's let's get you all back to the others there, and then we can go fetch your shiny thing, okay? It rumbles, but starts to pad after you. All right. Uh, with that, going to lead back over to the room up here. Okay. And the rest of the group is now together. Oh, thank goodness you're back. Um, I have some troubling news. We should never see that thing ever again, but also we need to go in deeper. Alright, I mean, that is how things are going, how, but just how exactly did you reach that train of thought? Let's say I have an old friend who beat me to these planes, and apparently whenever they arrived here, they noticed this is not an ordinary black dragon that we are dealing with. It seems to have been resurrected. Resurrected by something. It didn't tell you what it was, but it said something brought it back. And it seems to be able to heal itself. Uh, that would be great for a necromantic magic construct to be able to do, honestly. Usually they just fall apart after a few days. But if it can heal itself, that's quite a step in the right direction for necromancy. I'm sorry, was that helpful? <laughs> no. The other problem is my. I have more notes I need to find, and I believe there's probably more information about what happened here further in. So we may need to. I don't know. Play a little game of hide and seek. <laughs> Is that your clever way of saying we should just try to avoid being attacked by a dragon? Now, pay in mind, your, the notes that were left for you also imply that there's something. Yeah, that's what I was just about dragon. to get to. Mm -hmm. I was just about to get to. She's kind of just like crumpling the papers a little in her hand. It's like, um, about that, there may be something else. And. From the way, it, from the way they've encountered it, we can't look at it. I've seen it. I don't see a problem with looking at it. Not, not, not that one. There's, there's, there might be another one. There. One of those death things. Honestly, look, did Glennis do this here to die? I mean, perhaps. <laughs> oh god, tap dibs. Oh god, what are you doing? <laughs> if it... Look, there's apparently something else other than the dragon, and unlike the dragon with no eyes, the thing that has eyes should not be looked at. So, um... I don't know what happened out there. 
maybe we should just focus on staying hidden and learning what fairies learned. Yes? I say yes. He did send his little thing to do his work for him. Yeah, it was mentioning something about a door that opened up, glancing oh, over. Talk. How cute. Apparently it's found some kind of treasure and a way forward, so... I found a way forward. Oh. Ah. Good for you to share. loud are you being right now? He's he's being a little loud, honestly. He's a little frustrated. Okay. You guys can give me can you guys all give me a perception roll, please? Oh no. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Okay, no one really knows this but various, but you can hear moving water, and as you kind of look past everyone, you see a form rising from the crack in the lobby. A form that you're very familiar with by this point. Back into the room. Back into the room. And as various oh. says that you all look back and you can see it kind of pulling itself out of the water. Prius, you now actually have a good visual on this thing. Yeah, that definitely looks like a dragon that's been raised. She's going to stare in awe for a few seconds and then I go, oh, um, <laughs> right, let's just... There we go. Kind of see it pulls itself back in the crevice and starts to look around. Okay. So, I found a lever and was able to turn it without too much trouble. Something happened when I was in one room where there were a few bodies impaled on a stone spike. Um, and suddenly several doors opened up. That one might have been us. Yes, fairly likely. Um, one tiny room has a thing that looks like a chest, but has teeth. Um, there are several places in the next two rooms that have places it can get in. Uh, a hole in the ceiling in the first big room, and in the room with the bodies, a crack in the ground that leads to the same waterways it's been using. I am rather okay. proud that I left a mark on its nose, however temporary that may be. After what seemed to be the time you were talking, you can kind of hear another big splash of water coming from the main room, and it goes under. Alright, I... I think at this point here, maybe checking out that room that you sent Bayola to would be prudent. You said there were some items there, and there was also a, a door leaning forward. So... There was more than one door that I didn't get a chance to check. All right. The sword also matched this one. And he point he taps the the one that the statue's holding. Okay. I thought it might be related to this puzzle, but I guess not, considering hmm. Would pass without trace tra still be up? Um, how long does it last? An hour. It's definitely gone down by now. You guys have been here for more than an hour. I just give them a heads up like, hey, the uh, 
nice hidey spell is, you know, not working anymore. I got a hiding spell. Yes, the one you blatantly kept ignoring. Oh, obviously it wasn't that good then. It only works so far, dear. Now, should I risk doing it again so we aren't as easily discovered, or are we afraid of some fun magic effects? Well, you go in that corner over there and you do it from there and we'll be fine. It's up to you. What do you feel safe doing? Honestly, not being seen at all is the best option. Especially if we have more possible challenges ahead. All right. Do it. Make sure you roll wild magic first. Yep, she'll step over into the corner first. Yep. <laughs> Let's get away from everyone. Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh! In fact, you kind of begin to cast your magic, and for some reason, this surge feels almost empowering to you, and it doubles the uh, radius of the spell. So now instead of 30 feet, it's 60. Nice. So you almost feel like your magic pushes out further at this point, which is something it's never done before. She just kind of like shakes her hands a little and makes a little noise and is like, okay, um, it's good. We're good. She's not going <laughs> to mention anything, though, because someone's... Yeah. But she will go, okay, just try to stay close to me as much as possible. We need to be a group, power in numbers, and let's try not to touch anything that isn't ours. Please. All right. You heard the lady. And Rose is going to take position there and is going to deliberately stay near Tibbs. <laughs> Why? Reyes will start leading the pack. She will first, obviously, look for any kind of danger. And if there's uh, nothing... No, you see nothing. Don't need a perception. There's the water's still. You don't hear anything. Start slowly heading towards the corner. Okay. Well, again, the constructs don't seem to pay any of you any mind. And Rose is going to make sure that Tibbs is coming along, even if it's necessary. Even if dragging is necessary. There we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm quite capable of moving myself. Okay. And yeah, there is a nice little sturdy bridge that crosses over this almost very intentional gap. And... Uh, going into this, going to this room, considering Varys told you about it before, Rose, uh, as you pass over into this area, you do see the giant gaping hole in the wall, in the at least the ceiling. So you definitely know it can come down in here, but you don't hear anything right now. There is actually around here a big indent that looks very fresh, which you probably guess was from that earlier bit of noise that you guys heard. Freyus will sneak to the corner and just look around. Uh, you see a construct. Uh, you see a total of three doorways that are opened up in here. Uh, the entire room looks like an old armory. So you have suits of armor that have very decrepit looking armor, uh, broken furniture, broken chests, a lot of things that are just in disarray. Anything um. worth of note? Hmm. Um. Not really, no. Various is going to to tug at, at 
Ferris's shirt and point up north and very quietly go, that's where the bodies are. There's at least two doorways that way. Down there, I didn't get to see. Through that doorway is whatever that chest monster thing was. Would it be obvious enough to phrase that it's Mimic? Yeah, you would know what a Mimic is. In fact, when they told you about a chest with teeth, you are probably like, yeah, it's a Mimic, yep. <laughs> Alright, I want everyone to press against the wall. Right here, I'm going to just peek into the room that Ver Various did not look into. And then sneak around the corner. Okay. And we see the construct is there and see another room and it looks to be it looks to be kind of like a side room. Uh, originally it looked like the door had been blocked off by bars, but those bars have slid down, revealing a a room that seems to have uh there's a long table on one side that has what looks to be a jewelry box on it that has been unopened. Uh the rest of the coffers and safes are completely emptied. So potentially this is where some riches were hauled. She's going to look at the construct again and just mutter under her breath and then return. Okay. Uh, it's just a small storage room. We could probably check out the other hall you have found. And waving a hand, she starts obviously leading them in that direction. Okay. Various nods yeah. following after. Uh, one, one quick second there. <laughs> uh, Rose is gonna fire a crossbow bolt uh, through that hall, hall into the uh, the chest down there. Uh, hold it. Uh, oh shit! Yeah. What are you doing? Practicing your aim. Uh, Apparently. <laughs> you hit the wall instead. Your is crossbow really... kind of gets stuck in the You You don't know the, the chest is in there. I just said it was a storage room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, even if you did, it just I, hit I, the wall. I don't want anyone being okay. tempted. Okay, I thought I... Sorry, I was thinking that Freya said something. Um, In that case, um, I'm just going to pretend that never happened. Okay. Uh, it didn't happen. All right, and just yeah, continue here. What were you aiming at? Honestly, do do you need spectacles? You know, my aunt had spectacles. Oh, it didn't happen. Okay, never mind. Is there any movement in the water? Not here, no. But as you guys begin to enter this room, you all see the stone pillar Various told you about, and indeed there are two skeletal figures that look to be impaled upon them. Rose, you see that it ha one of them is holding a rapier, and they both have very familiar clothing on. Rose will get a little closer to investigate. Okay. Yeah, Freyus was going to wave them up to, because apparently they know this place. Yeah, there are two skeletons just impaled one right after another on this stone pillar that seems to be rising from the water. They look like they've been there for quite a long time. They have black ichor frozen on the bones that seems to be discoloring them and causing them to rot, but still in place, almost like a morbid trophy. One of them is still, even in its death throes, uh, clutching a very ornate rapier. That hasn't rusted, surprisingly. Um, I'm going... Uh, Rose is going to try to observe the rapier and just see... Does it look... Does it appear to be magical? Roll me Arcana. Oh, oh yeah, this thing seems to have almost a silvery glamorous sheen to the blade itself while the hilt itself is adorned with what seems to be not gold but a blue metal also what did you say Naira? it was a little Can bit I slide of hand sleight of hand what 
the sword, I think. It's too high up. You'd have to climb the pillar to get it. Do that? You'd have to climb up the stone pillar to the bodies to get it. How tall up is the body off the ground? About 40 feet. This is a big, tall room. And so it's... But it's being... So it's like clutching, like, is it like dangling from a skeletal arm then? Yes. Psst. Psst. Mm. I can help. Oh, see, I can help. Go on. <laughs> oh, that's right, a certain someone in this party can fly. <laughs> Alright, Tibbs, get in the cannon. <laughs> what? <laughs> Belio would just yeet his <laughs> I mean, if you want to throw him, I'd say strength check. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Belio sees people staring at the sword. and Or, I guess, Various sees it. Belio starts to step forward. And spreads their, their great big wings... Which look a lot bigger now that they're not folded against their back. Mm -hmm. And takes off. Okay. What is Belly going to do? Well, they're not exactly delicate. So they're going to grab it and probably accidentally grab the entire arm. So you're touching it? Yeah. <laughs> as Belio well, kind of reaches out and grabs the skeletal arm, he can hear this crackling of bone as the skeleton comes to life and tries to grab at Belio. So, roll me a dex save, please. Hey! Okay. In fact, uh, since Belio was probably last onto that arm, he flies out of the way and kind of rips the skeletal arm off uh, the skeleton as it flops back down with whatever magic was doing that to it. And the arm just lays helpless in uh, Belua's hand. It still has a death grip on the rapier, but the skeleton just kind of flops. You hear, you hear Belua sort of growl at the skeleton before it... He, comes back down and lands with a thud. Mm -hmm. And since Belly was a little closer, he could see that the skeletal figures were still wearing very ornate, royal-looking clothing, even though it's in tatters and in ruins. Hmm. Even, even in death, they're still jackasses. <laughs> Is Belly near us now? Yeah, they're they've landed, so they're. I'll take the rapier. They're holding the arm with the rapier in it. Rapier out of that arm. Now, are you gonna touch the rapier? Yes, that's what sleight of hand is. Uh, since Belua is holding it, go ahead and I'd say roll a strength, Belua. Okay. Uh. Naira, you kind of easily kind of swipe this very nice looking rapier from Belua, but I need you to roll a con save for me. Okay. Uh, you kind of take this uh, rapier into hand, but you feel a weird bit of magic kind of course through it and try to enter your body, almost as if something was trying to get into you from the sword and it was trying to grasp at your mind. But you kind of easily shake it off and kind of shake your head a little bit like, ooh, what was that? I'm going to wrap it up now. <laughs> now does... And put it away for the boss. Well, does Rose want to say anything about this? Yeah, I'm, I mean, Rose is right next to her, so... Mm -hmm. But, uh, Rose, if you remember correctly, you... One of your masters tried to do something that... Basically, even if they were to be fell, felled in battle, their soul would live on. And seeing Naira seem to fight something off gives you an inkling that they might have pulled it off. Hmm. 
Naira. Yes. Give me that right beer. Um, no. I mean, if you want to be carrying a soul of Feyord with you that is going to, I don't know, try to invade your mind the next time you think of poking something with that, then be my guest. That's why I'm keeping it wrapped up, honey, and putting it away. You act like I've never done this before. Mm -hmm. And you know what living weapons are, uh, Naira. You know I've a few of them you, in my You know that, uh, especially considering Lucy has a few of his own, in yeah. fact, he's made a few of his own from people who have betrayed him, uh, you know that sometimes if the will is strong enough, they will try to take over the person's body. This one just tried to do that to you. Tried. <laughs> Pay in mind. <laughs> Again, I've probably reviewed these for Glacia, so I know what to do in case of. Right. I think that we should hand it over to a neutral party. Or leave it here just in case the constructs want to, I don't know, look for it. Also a good option. We need It'll to figure out how to split up things. A return trip, shopping trip. Come on, it's... Please. But, uh, go oh, ahead and I add... Go ahead and add... A fey, Naira, go ahead and add uh, the fey, uh, Sword of a Fey Lord into your inventory. Or Rapier of a Fey Lord. You don't know what exactly you can do, you just know that it has someone's soul inside of it. I'm pretty much using it as my bargaining chip of, I didn't find anything out, but here's a magical sword, boss. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Adventure and coin? Exactly. <laughs> the coin part, I guess. The coin part. Now, as you guys have been talking about this, you don't hear or feel anything, so you can at least assume that the dragon hasn't come this way yet. All right, which direction here? Oh, I guess they made a decision. Are, are, already peeking. Mm -hmm. People are just ignoring what I've said, so it's like, okay. Oh, whatever. sorry. <laughs> but uh, this looks to be another room that opened up. There is two chests oh. inside. Various did say, yeah, that's a good idea to leave it. He did, yeah. Yeah, but the main person who's holding it <laughs> is like, nah. Hey, nice. Speaking of treasure. There are two chests in this room. She elbows him before he could finish saying treasure. Speak it. <laughs> you don't have the problem with one chompy chest don't need more. We will get it on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, any <clears throat> any threats in there, Frius? No, not really. Seems to be another storage room. All right, moving on. And this looks to be a very long hallway. In fact, it seems to be a slanted hallway that seems to be angling itself downward. However, it definitely seems tibs. that the darkness seems to be thicker the further down it goes. Tibbs, what are you doing? Can I see if I see Tibbs? Ah, uh, perception. You don't see him. No. Nope. You're probably too focused on making sure no one else touches anything that you don't recognize. Tibbs just kind of sneaking in right behind your back. Uh, Tibbs, what are you doing? So what's the room? Two chests. It's actually rather barren aside from the two chests. Because the, the doorway in looks like it just kind of slid open a portion of the wall. 
He's gonna roll his eye. Don't touch anything. Me, 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 me. <laughs> we should like like moving because that creature came up through the floor before I definitely don't plan on staying still alright Freya's you know as you start to walk down this hallway back your vision doesn't seem to be working as it should. It seems to be unable to pierce the darkness ahead of you. And it's also getting colder. More specifically, you start to smell the distinct scent of grave dust. Or kind of the the, the scent that a fresh grave often has. She's See gonna the... hold a hand up at the corner. Does Rose feel any difference being a uh, fire? You do. In fact, it almost feels like whatever darkness is in here is trying to extinguish your flames. Like it's almost creeping in. Ah, oh, my pearl! <laughs> <laughs> uh... It's almost a burdening presence that seems to be emanating from this hallway as it continues to go deeper. You distinctly remember, in fact, Rose, this hallway didn't exist before when this place was thriving. Usually that room rack there was the end of the under the end of the road, but this wasn't there before. So this is new. This was not here before. I don't know if any of you've noticed, but being the one with the four eyes, I really like to see, and it's getting difficult. Should we continue, or should we maybe try to investigate maybe the other rumblings, if it did anything? We at least know the environment behind us. We don't know anything about ahead of us. What adventure? Oh, Tiberius, okay. as you get to that point, you actually see it's a stairwell going down. These actually go into stairs. It's just a set of stairs. And, uh... Actually, all of you who are near the stairwell, give me a perception. Okay. Ugh. Nice. Tibbs? Nye? Okay. Uh, Tiberius, Nye, and Frias, you notice that the kind of gothic architecture has long since kind of almost faded into this green, black, slate-like, almost tomb-looking wall almost as if it was being transformed from what it originally was into something else. Like, reality is being overwritten here. Huh. Anyone else notice the architecture changes a little right here? Yeah, we may be coming up on a maze. Forgot to mention that. Sorry. <sighs> hey. Hate mazes. Do you go I down or do you want to go back? I think whatever whatever Leonard's looking for is down that way. Well, the dragon can't see. Should we at least light a torch at this point? Or do we want to try to remain... Oh, sorry. Like, sense movement or something, though? I it's couldn't hear that. It's getting hard for all of you to see. But also, she brings up the point, there's also the thing we shouldn't be looking at. I don't know where it is. All she knows is that there's something we shouldn't be looking at. 
Mm-hmm. That's all you know. Right. Well, all it right. looked like there was no way back. Yeah, I mean, we can't... It doesn't exactly look like we're going to be able to leave this castle anyhow for the moment. I guess tread lightly. Tread that one. I like you. <laughs> tread lightly, and we stick together from this point on. No more exceptions. Well, then keep up. <sighs> Tiberius, I have a rope. Please don't make me use it. Well, are we going to do some kind of buddy system? It's called a leash. <laughs> and she's going to walk by him. Right. Uh, Freyus, as you go past Tiberius, Ooh. it almost seems like the darkness closes in around you when you lose sight of the others. Oh. She's going to walk back and actually bump into Rose. Actually, you don't. You're somewhere else entirely. Oh, shit. And you are surrounded by darkness. Does anyone else follow? Freyus disappear from sight? Guy, Dennis, I'm busy. Poof, I'm gone like magic. Yeah. Uh, Freyus is gone. Is anyone else following Freyus? Yeah, Freyus is going to just like look around. Anyone else notice that the four eyed one is now gone? Sorry. <laughs> Yes. Uh. Mm-hmm. Right. So, uh, we're just gonna perhaps find another way down. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to attempt to grab Tibbs as they wander away. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Rose. Unless, unless Tibbs tries to fight it, I'd say you don't need to really roll anything. She disappeared. I don't want to disappear. And you suppose that hanging back down that way is going to accomplish what exactly? Ah, perhaps there's another stairwell. When someone disappears from view, you see magic tomfooleries at foot. <laughs> well, we <laughs> did say to together. We're in a... You... It's a fae castle. Of course there's magic tomfoolery at foot. So what, are fae like, I don't know... Rats? As they're arguing, um, Varius is gonna send Bellowa through. Okay. And Bellowa, just like uh, Freyus, you are enveloped by darkness, and you seem to take a few steps and lose everyone, but eventually you actually bump into Freyus, and Freyus, you finally see someone come into view, and it's Bellowa. That's the first person you now, see. Now, can Varius isn't, like, projecting their senses... They're just seeing if they can still feel Bellua to make sure that it's not something that... No, you can't. It's oh. almost as if the moment he passed through the darkness, you lost all connection. Freya still oh. sees him, though. The construct just go into the darkness. Arius, control your creation. I... I... Uh, uh... There's an obvious shock on well, Varius's face. Did it step in something? I can't feel it. You can't feel what? I can't feel Bellua. And there you have it, Rose. They're both dead. Well, we're already... Ah, okay. oh, screw this, I'm going in. <laughs> okay, now you get swallowed by the darkness as well, and after what feels like a couple steps as you look back and know that Rose, Tibbs, and Darius are gone, you bump right into Freyus and Bellula. But we do you all have death wish? Roll 
roll 20. Well, let me move things, please. On that note, Rose just, like, puts their hands on, um, yeah, puts her hands on Tiz's shoulders and just, like, forces him to look him, to look at them straight in the eyes. That's what the Fae are. Death wishes. Does that answer your question? So, we are going to go down the stairs and die. We are going to go down the stairs and see what happens. Before we jump Before. to any other conclusions. Well, do you have any rope on you? I do, yes. Can I have it for a moment? Rose pulls out the pulls out their coil rope. Both sides are going to hand it to Tibbs, and then slides it over to Various. Honestly, like if you don't trust me or something, I was just going to tie it around your waist and say, "Go ahead and walk down, and we'll see if the rope goes slack." Various is still looking very panicked. Mm-hmm. Various just tied a damn rope on me already. Perhaps on his neck. <clears throat> I mean, no, the waist is good. Uh, f- fine. All right. And once it's tied on, uh, Rose is going to take uh, go down the stairwell. Okay. Rose, the darkness once again, kind of. It, cr- it creeps in around you, and eventually, after a few steps, you run right into Frius, Nai, and Balua. However, on the other side, the rope does indeed go slack, and you're able to pull it off, and the loop is just sitting there with no rose at the end of it. On three? But, uh, yeah, Rose, you're... I know that Frius. you're not going to go through. You're going to see me go through first. We've done this before. Honestly. I would rather die before you. So, on three. One. <laughs> and same thing with Tips. Uh, Tips, you kind of jump into the stairwell, and you don't really land until you land, and you notice that Rose is right next to you, and you're all surrounded by darkness, leaving various behind in the stairwell. Well, I couldn't find them. I'm, I'm just... Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leonard, there was a dragon. I don't know what happened. Everyone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go through? Uh, yep. And the same thing happens to you, so I maybe to the next map. You're all surrounded by a choking, gripping darkness. It's cold, it's quiet, and you can barely see 10 feet in front of you, but you're all here. You've all round up in the same spot together. Can we see each other at least? Yes, you can. I'm putting on new music. The air around here is stale. It smells like grave dirt. The walls are a deep, almost porous looking green stone that represents the stone often seen in tombs. It's almost immaculate in its form, as if it's taken no damage, as if it's been freshly built. The ground is solid, cold to the touch. And there is a foreboding feeling that you're being watched. No amount of light that you seem to produce seems to allow you to see further. Ah, yes. Now that we've reached this point, I would like us to take a 15 minute break, if that's okay. Alright. And I'll pause the music as a result. But uh, we'll come back in 15 minutes. I do have to go to the bathroom, so. And when we come back, we'll continue.